So welcome to Techno Dad Life, where we build, learn, and create as a community. And on today's episode, we have a special episode for you. We're going to be installing OpenVPN AS, which is a program to access your server from anywhere in the world. And so you can not only access your server, but you can actually access your network too. So it's going to be a very exciting video. And if you found this video helpful today, make sure you like, and if you haven't already subscribed, and here we go now. And a special thanks to all my patrons who, without your support, this channel would not be possible. Thank you. And if you haven't already, please check out my Patreon page. Okay, so let's get started. So first thing we need to do is go to shell in the box or putty. We're going to log in. Roots. And our server password. Next we're going to type in ID and our username, which for me is user1. Hit enter. And then we're going to copy down our UID, which for me is 1000, and our GID, which is 100. Next we're going to type in clear. So now we need to type in nano space slash etc slash open media vault slash config dot xml and then hit enter. And so that takes us to the config file and we're going to look for a file named mntent. -E so what we're going to do first is hit f6 to search. And you can see down in the bottom left corner, there's a search bar now. And so in there, we're going to type in M-N-T-E-N-T. -E Hit enter. And we're going to scroll down or tab down a little bit to the blue M-N-E-N-T. -E and so we're going to go to this section where it says ops and we're going to go over to where it says no exec and we're going to delete that. So tab over to no exec, put your cursor on the end and then hit the delete key. That's all we need to do. And now we're going to hit control X and then Y to save and then enter. So next we're going to type in omb-mkconfig space f tab, then hit enter. And now we're going to X out of that. So we're going to go back to Open Media Vault. And on the right hand top here, we're going to click the down arrow. And then we're going to click Reboot. And yes. Once you get software failure, just click on that and it'll bring back the login window. Click login. Okay, so next what we're going to do is go to Docker. Click on that. And we're going to type in Linux server or just open VPN AS. And here it is the second one, Linux server open VPN AS. We're going to click on that. Click the info page. Scroll down, and two things to notice. One is this is only for x86-64 architecture. There is no ARM version of this. Next, these this is the data that we're going to be adding into our Docker. So next, we're going to click Start. Once that's done, click Close. And then before we start uh, the OpenVPN AS image, we're going to go to our shared folder on our server go to app data we're going to create a new folder called open vpn as and then once we've done that we can close that now we're going to click on open vpn as run image container name is open vpn as restart policy is always we're going to leave it in bridge mode we're going to expose 1194, 943, and 9443. Hit the plus sign after each one of those. We're going to scroll down to environmental variables. Type in PUID. 
For us, that was 1,000. Hit the plus sign. PGID. 100. Hit the plus sign. We're going to type in TZ for time zone, which for me is America slash New York. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to type in interface. And we're going to type in ETH0 for our Ethernet adapter. And we do this because we're in bridged, bridge networking. Then hit the plus sign. And now we're going to go con container path. Hit slash and config. Go to shared folders. And then app data. And then there's our open VPN AS folder. Click OK. Hit the plus sign. Next, we're going to go to extra arguments. And we're going to type in dash dash cap dash add equals net underscore admin. So next, what we're going to do is go over to our router and click on advanced settings and then port forwarding. The first thing we want to do is put in our local server address. Next, we want to do internal port to external port. So 1194 to 1194. And we want this to be UDP. And then click New. And then Save. And then we're going to go down to Save. Press and press Save. So next, we want to copy our IP address. Next, what we want to do is type in HTTPS colon slash slash your IP address and then colon 943 in admin and then hit enter. And when we do that, we'll come to this page. Your connection is not private. Click on advanced and then proceed. And here we're at the admin login. So the default admin name is admin and the default password is password. And then sign in and agree. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to be doing is changing two things, our server name and also our ports for our VPN. So we're going to go over to the left-hand side, click on click Configuration, and then click on Network Settings. And so for your host name or IP address, we want to use a outside accessible address. So uh, either one that's assigned from your IP server or uh, we're going to be using one from DuckDNS. And so in this instance, uh, my host name is going to be tdllife.duckdns.org. We want that to, if it's not already highlighted, listen in all ports. And then we already set up our router and for UDP, so we want to change this to yes for UDP. And then our UDP port was 1194, so we changed that to 1194. And then we scroll down and everything else is okay, so we're going to click Save Settings. Then Update Server. And then hit Refresh if this happens. And Continue and log back in as admin and password and now when we look at our server name now we have our server duck dns address there and our vpn port has changed to uh, udp 1194 so those are okay so next we're going to create a user so we're going to go to user management user permissions and so we're going to add in a username, pick whatever you want. Mine is going to be Jeff. And we're going to make me admin and then also allow auto login. And so what this means is when we do this and we download the OpenVPN file for our computer or our phone or our tablet, that it can also be logged in automatically or you can also still use a password and so for a password what we're going to do is click on more settings and we're going to set a password and then we're just going to scroll down save settings 
and update running server again. Okay, so now we're going to log out and we're gonna go up to our address up here and we're going to backspace and get rid of the admin because we don't want to log in as admin anymore. Then hit enter. And now we're going to log in as our user. For me, that was Jeff. And then put in our password and then log in. Okay, and so now comes the interesting part. So how we set up a Windows client, Mac client, Android, iOS, and Linux. Uh, for the Windows client, Mac OS, you're going to download a client and it will have the user profile automatically added along with the password. So then you can uh, automatically log in. And so let's do that now. We'll download the Open VPN Connect for Windows. And then we're going to open that and just install that as normal. If we look down here in the bottom right corner, now there's an open VPN uh, connect there. So it says disconnected. We click on it. There is our DuckDNS site. And if we go to it, go to DuckDNS. We can't connect to the server. That's because it is on the same network. To actually check this, you have to have your computer on a different network. Uh, but that is how you download the clients and uh, you would just connect that. And once you do that, then you can actually as also put a uh, virtual drive on your Windows. Uh, what we're going to do next is show you how to do it on an iPhone since that's the easiest way to check it or actually uh, on the iPad that will be easier to see and it will be connected through uh, my iPhone. Uh, but before that, what we're going to do is download one of these two things. So these are connection profiles that can be downloaded. So one is yourself with a locked profile where you have to log in each time. The other one is an auto login profile. And so we're going to download the auto login profile. So I'm going to email that to myself so we'll be easily able to add that in a VPN file into the open VPN. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is go to our iPad and go to the open VPN client and download that. So on our iPad, search for open VPN connect and then download that. Once that's done, open that and we're going to click open VPN profile, then agree. And then next what we have to do is go to our email and uh, download or basically import the OpenVPN file into our app. And so here we have the email. We're just going to tap to download. And then we're going to tap that again. And when we do that, the open copy to OpenVPN will come up. We're going to tap that. And then we're going to add the profile. And we imported the profile. And now we're going to add it again. And allow. And next, what we're going to do is click con uh, connect. It's disconnected right now. There it's connected. And what we'll be seeing is those starting to be things over here. And there you can see we're starting to send things back and forth. And that's it for today. I hope you found this helpful. If you found this helpful, make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Bye.